Ohio Buser. Ohio Buser. It's just not what you're used to. You call yourself the head of the Mugen Tenshin clan? You are a failure. I don't know. I, I, it seems like ever since Dimensions, you've been even been more of an asshole. Uh, he's, I, uh, he's actually, he's act, actually chiding Hayate for not being able to kill Kasumi. It's like I thought you liked Kasumi. I thought I thought she was your friend. I thought you were. I thought you were literally her only friend in the fucking world, you cunt. But no, he's just been a, a complete dickhead. Being like Hayate, you're a failure. You have to be able to kill Kasumi, or I won't respect you. No, he's beat me. But the thing is, like. This series doesn't doesn't make any sense with any of the Ninja Gaiden games because you see the shit Ryu does in those games and even even in his ending DOA 4, there's no way anyone could possibly stand up to him. Like he physically could not lose a fight in the series, he's that powerful. Also, I think with how little he changes his clothes, his odor would really just ruin it. But yes, yeah, so the Thomas Over just moved on to a different part of the story. The story of the ninjas. The Alpha Plan will now progress to its final stage. Phase four. Yeah, phase four. Miss Hamilton, please inform that, yeah, that's, the In case you can't figure out, that's Donovan. And apologize for keeping them waiting. Understood. I'll head to Tokyo immediately. Lisa? And how she, is Miyako? She's still day? working for him? When you see her, tell her to pay us a visit. But yeah, he's supposed to be wearing Genra's mask, but he doesn't have it here. Miss, what, like, Miss from um, Parasite Eve 2? Also, Lisa's actual um, allegiance is not really clear, I don't think. Miyako, he said that you should come to the lab. So, the yeah, she's on a... That's right. So is this, is this before or after she... Uh, Met with met with Kokoro. I've been told to go and see the client in Tokyo. But I thought this was Tokyo. Well, what do we have here? Mist is Donovan's organization. Oh, Mr. Hayabusa. Mr. Hayabusa. Oh yeah. I wasn't aware we'd arrange. In, in dimensions, like he, he uh, basically seduces to get information so out of her. They puts on the tux one of the few times he changes clothes and he's like, and he seduces it to get info on a. Uh, where Kasumi is, I think, during DOA 2. And our sole aim is to make new discoveries. Discoveries that improve... So basically, they just turn Lisa into a villain in this one. Your so-called discoveries yep. have only led to suffering and so, my own cursed destiny. Your cursed destiny. They've done nothing to you personally. She says that now, but she's set up in a perfect situation to, to be immediately kicked off the roof. Also, I don't I, I, again. I don't. I, still, I don't know why the fuck they, they had Wendy Lee voice Lisa instead of just staying as Ayane. Come on, yes, yes. Because you can. Because you can. You can actually do a move if they grab onto the edge. Like, like, is, 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 I think it's like, I think you can do punch, kick, or, um, or or a throw, and I think yeah, I think the uh, but I think the uh, the person holding onto the edge can counter attack. I mean, otherwise, there'd be literally no point grabbing on, would they? You know. <laughs> I still don't get why you why you was green eyes though. I think that's the thing from Dead or Alive because I think in the original Ninja Gaiden trilogy he actually had brown. Yeah, I'm sure you can knock the opponent off the off the uh, off the roof here. I just don't remember how. Uh, I really said I don't don't know. It might, it might be you have to do the big super charge attack move on him. 
to knock him into it or something. I'm sure you can go from here down to the uh, area below with the uh, with the fence and that. Yeah, part of Antique Sundries, because what the game forgets to mention, well, they don't forget to mention now, is that he's supposed to have retired in, uh, after Ninja Gaiden 3 and owned an, and opened an antique shop with Irene. But now it's like, no, they, 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 they didn't get married or anything because married people are boring, apparently. It's, it's, it's dumb. Really, really dumb. Now we have Cast Me Part 2. She returns to Eleanor, like, days later. Like, what, what, what's she been doing? Did you find what you were looking for? Why won't anybody just tell me the truth? You must know. Tell me, Eleanor. Yeah, Eleanor, just tell her. I don't even know what she's, what she's asking about. I've been filling your head with ideas. She met with Lisa? Oh, yeah, briefly. But Lisa didn't really say anything. Katsumi just kicked her face in. It's time to face it. you cannot do this. Then help her. Help her, you fool. You'll find what you're looking for here. However, I'm sending Hayate and the others as well. Why? My brother. Offset line will be in the Japanese, which should say Nissan. Nissan, isn't that a car? <laughs> and she just walks around dressed like a ninja. And then just like, oh, whatever. How the fuck is he supposed to know what that means? <laughs> like, really? Nearly to the clone had an actual name. Yeah, there is no point. Also, if you, you may notice that the music that I was just playing in the background then was actually from a uh, Tina's DOA 2 ending. You can't go wander around this place, so I'm going to take you out here where half the fights in the story mode take place. I mean, I think they use this more than the actual tournament arena. Stop hitting me, you shit. That was a, that was a throw, I think. Fucker! He beat me down! Yeah, and I don't know about this one, but there was like an achievement trophy in the other versions. If you um, saw every character's defeat pose for some reason. And look. Oh, I mean, I was trying to show you the dirt, not her panties. Honest, honest, I swear. Like, look at all the dirt all over. It's, it's great detail. Whereas, like, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which I think came out after this, is just like a layer of brown and it looks absolutely horrid. It's like, why does it look so shit? Probably because Namco can't make good games anymore. And they're just like, if a woman is over the age of 40, she can't fight anyone because she's not sexy. That's basically their attitude. And I'm like, are you guys, like, on actual drugs? Because whatever you're smoking to make you into these, like, condescending assholes. Seriously, I want some. Because it's not easy being one of the few non assholes on the planet. Well, I'm a bit of an asshole, but not in that way. And I win. <laughs> yeah, I only attempt three. Three attempts and a beat him down eventually. I win, I did. And Cosmo just walks away and it's like, what the f fuck was the point? Offshore platform, lowest level. Oh, you're back already? Go. Back. Leave now. Why was where's she been? Wait a second. Oh, is that supposed to be doing? a hint at summit? Wait, what do you mean, what am I doing? Isn't it obvious what, what I'm doing? You dumb bint. I also really like the, um, the, the DOA 1 stage, like Kasumi's DOA 1 stage that they brought back for uh, last round. It's actually really good. I, I really, like, really like that stage because, um, it's basically just the way it was in DOA 1, that kind of stage. But instead of ring outs, you just knock them onto a lower level, which is another... Uh, even, ha even as when you knock them over, they take loads of damage. But it's like, it's, when you knock them off the edge, they don't, it's not a ri ring out. They just like fall to the next one, which is another platform they fall onto. But that one's like e uh, even more 
explosive thing over the floor. Look, she has actual details, detail in herself. I don't like her voice in this version. But she has actual detail in her body to the point that she has like actual her detail and feet detail and teleporting again. It's going to lead to a really shit scene, isn't it? But I think it's really shit that they just kept Alpha 152 around as a boss. I mean, why not just let Kasumi kill her? Yeah. So, I think that's just a, they did a bunch of things in order to trick you, like when you're playing this game. Because, like, Kasumi fights Alpha again. I mean, not again, like, Kasumi fights Alpha. Which, but keep in mind, like I said, every character has four fights in their chapters, but this one, you I mean three, you already had three in this one, now you got the fourth one to try and trick play. Oh shit! Damn it. Fuck! She killed me. Uh. She's still not as hard as she was in um, DOE 4, though. I mean, that was a fucking piss take, that. Come on, you bitch. Face me in Mortal Kombat. Only Mortal Kombat's gone shit. So face me in Dead or Alive instead, because Dead or Alive is, like, literally way better. Honestly, I think Dead or Alive is my favourite fighting game series at this point. Because 4 of Problems and DOEX kind of ruined the series' image. I forever. But... At the same time, it's like they never kill off half the cast or said like 20 years of canon has gone down the drain. They didn't kill off half the best characters like Soul Calibur. They didn't make shit games like Tekken did. Because Tekken 6 was fucking atrocious, let's face it. And uh, Tekken Tag 2 in its original form was awful. Oh no, Kasim is dead. Because, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm so sure that, one, they would kill Kasumi off. Two, Hayate would kill her. And that's about it. Yeah, just those two. And then, no remorse. Like, even Ayane, if she killed Kasumi, she would break down and cry. But, like, wh why did they not just... <laughs> that was awesome. But why did they just render it in real time? So it won't look, look like there's a shit filter all over it. This, this reminds me of a shot from a uh, dead fantasy. My brother. Except in that, I'm pretty sure there's a shot in, in dead fantasy where Casimir was like all fucked up. Showing that'll never get finished in dead fantasy, but yeah. Bayman, the Bayman storyline, and it just goes back. I've lost track of how. Okay, so today, today, Elliot. Lei Fang, he told me Jan Lee, Ryu and Kasumi too, okay. Kasumi's dead, it can't be true. Like, it literally can't be true, because that'd be fucking moronic. And then we're going to cut back to Bayman. Because... Reasons. <laughs> 